It's time for these two titanic monsters to go head to head. Which one's going to win? I don't know. Let's find out. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Will and we are back with another trailer reaction. This time we're taking a look at Godzilla vs. Kong. This is finally coming out this year in 2021. It's not only coming out in theaters, but it's also coming out on HBO Max, very similar to what they did with Wonder Woman 1984. This is the titanic meeting of King Kong and Godzilla. We've they've been they've been leading up to this for a couple years now between the first two Godzilla movies and the um, Kong Skull Island movie, they were laying the seeds to this, this huge monster universe that they've been been creating through um, at Legendary Pictures. And I'm not sure what human elements are going to be in it. Are there any returning characters from any of the previous Godzilla or Kong Skull Island movies? Um, so this is the only thing we know of is that Kong and Godzilla are about to go head to head. Clash for who's the king of the monsters, pretty much. And apparently, God, and apparently King Kong got pretty big. So let's take a look at this trailer and see what what's this all about. This is kind of the first teaser trailer for it, or this might be a full trailer. It's showing about a two and a half minute trailer, so we should get some story elements in this as well. Haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna check it out. But before I check this out, please, before you watch this video, go check out the original trailer. The link is in the description below. It's a, it's a Warner Brothers trailer. They're probably going to give me a copyright claim on it. I don't know. Um, thank God I'm not monetized. But yeah, please go watch the original trailer first and then come back and watch my reaction to it. And then if you don't mind, stick around and hear what my thoughts are on the on the upcoming movie. I am actually excited for this. I, I did like the first two Godzilla movies. I kind of liked King of the Monsters a little bit more than the first one. But... I think. I'm trying to remember my own review, but I am looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to see these two layeth the smacketh down on each other, as they say in the wrestling biz. Oh, God, that's an old reference. Forgive me on that one. So let's check it out. King Kong versus Godzilla, or Godzilla versus Kong, whatever floats your boat. Play. Let's look. Ooh. Explosion. Alright. What the fuck? We have to take it. No, y'all didn't kidnap Kong. Poor guy. <laughs> My brother's in legendary. Oh man, that's messed up. We need Kong. The world needs Okay. To stop what's coming. And the child. She's the only one he'll communicate with. Uh -huh. That's messed up, man. Poor Kong. He got big. That boy got big. Here he comes. Little big boy. I wonder how... I wonder what the time frame is for this. I wonder if it's... Pretty close to where the first one was. Here he comes. It's Godzilla. He's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> this is my territory, bitch. <laughs> okay, come on. So... <laughs> it looks insane. These are dangerous times. Oh, okay, they brought him back. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. Oh, they brought him all back. Okay, cool. The myths are real. There was a war. He's got an axe. Dude. 
Okay. All right. That's kind of dope. <laughs> All right. So I just that's that's entertaining as hell. Listen, there's one thing about the Godzilla movies, especially the two newest ones that I know a lot of people, there wasn't a huge story with it. The human element, I think I said this in my King of the Monsters review, the human element is a completely background to what's going on. It's just big monsters going at each other. And that's exactly what this is. It's, there's, there's a little bit of a tease of what the story is about. Apparently they've got Kong to help them fend off some of the kaiju that are, you know, obviously present on Earth after the events of King of the Monsters, and Godzilla is the King of the Monsters currently, but he is apparently being provoked by something, so no one really knows what. They enlist, enlist because he's in chains, they enlist the help of Kong and some girl that communicates with him. Sure, why not? Um, just, you know, you gotta have a little bit of a control element in this movie, but it looks ridiculously cool. Um, just because I'm, I'm, I've said this many times before, I'm a huge fan of giant robots and giant monsters clashing on it, just having huge battles, and this just looks ridiculously cool. I'm glad they're not sugarcoating, and they're not trying to keep it a secret, they're just like, hey, you want to see Godzilla vs. Kong, we're giving it to you multiple times, and does God, does Kong have a fucking axe? <laughs> he has his own store breaker, and it's like, oh, come on, that could... Oh, it's ridiculously cool in all the right ways. I hope it doesn't disappoint. I hope it isn't too bogged down with that B element storyline of the humans being involved in it. If they if they learned anything from King of the Monsters from myself personally, I don't care about parents getting a divorce <laughs> in the middle of a kaiju smackdown. Let's just, just have everything revolve around those two. There's a reason they're fighting. I don't think it's going to end with one of them dying. I think that would be kind of weird. There's got to be a third, a, a different big bad. Maybe we'll get that tease from the end of King of the Monsters with um, King Ghidorah becoming Mecha King, Mecha King Ghidorah. Wow, I'll say that three times fast. Um, so maybe we'll get that tease at the end of it. I don't know. I think the trailer looks dope. It delivered on everything that you would want from a Godzilla vs. Kong movie. We got to see them go at it a little bit. And it seems like this is going to span multiple fights throughout the movie. I'm very curious to see what this movie has to offer. It comes out this year. We don't know specifically when. But, you know, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the trailer. Have you seen it? And, you know, are you excited? Do you think it's just ridiculous fun? Or you just think it's going to be a big, dumb movie? You know, just let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you did before watching this, did watch the original trailer before you came back and checked out my reaction and my thoughts. As always, thank you so much for watching this and all my videos. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've got tons of videos on the channel right now. I've got some other things I'm working on coming up. I hope you do enjoy, like, share, and subscribe to the channel and all that fun jazz. You can follow me on all the social media listed at the end of the video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you did like this video, why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there. You can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below. And last but certainly not least, if you've got a few extra minutes, why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here. Later.